What's good? What's good? What's good? This is your boy Yamar, uh, with Marble Beach Production, and uh, actually happy to do this vid, man. I know I struggled with this for a while. You know, I had to invest my money in order to find out how to mix this. I, I haven't seen too many uh, tutorials online about how to mix vocals, and uh, I've been wanting to make a tutorial video for a while on this. Uh, but since I had an opportunity to mix something down, I think it'd be out of your time. So I'm not doing this in any shape or any form or fashion. I'm just about to record myself and what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna try to explain while I'm going along. All right, so what you looking at? You know, let me let you hear everything that you're looking at. And this uh, this vocal actually doesn't have a beat to it. Uh, it was some I was actually working on for my home, but I had him to lay some lyrics down uh, so I can uh, build a beat around it. But man, the song is off the fucking chain. I'm just being real. All right, man. Listen to him. They call them Trojan Magnets. 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 I don't fuck with lifestyle. 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 Lifestyle. I don't fuck with lifestyle. I don't fuck with lifestyle. I don't fuck with lifestyle. I don't, I don't fuck with it. All right, so you heard it. You heard the vocals. The vocals has, um, you know, no type of effects on it thus far. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just about to tell. First, I'm, you know, I'm gonna take you through my my side effect chain. And then I'm gonna take you through my step by step process, which this shit might be all over the place. All right. So first thing first, the first thing I do is uh, I'm pretty sure that all vocals or most vocals, if you're dealing with singles, are gonna be like consistent. So I just start with my lead vocal, and really I don't have a lead since it's gonna be a chorus. But you know my first take. This is my first take, so I'm trying to get to understand his voice. And so I base all of my other presets, you know, based off of this, you know, with the I'm going to show you. Fuck it. Let's go. All right, first thing I start with. First thing in my side effect chain is my equalizer. Here it is. All right. I'm going to play it back. I'm going to start it right here. They call them tones and call them tones. As a matter of fact, you can hear the difference already. All right. Uh, if you don't know, once you pull up your equalizer in Logic Pro, it can be any equalizer. But uh, this one in particular... You know, this is the default, the straight line. But once you hit this, it auto where well, it's supposed to automatically cut it at 120, but I had already previously been messing with it. So I cut the frequencies by 150. You need to be paying attention to all this shit because you need to know this. So I'm gonna bypass it. All right, I'm gonna play it again, and uh, I'm gonna turn this equalizer back on. You can hear, you can just hear the difference with this alone. They call them Trojan Magnus. Just with that, you know. Call them Trojan Magnus. Now, you got different opinions about when, uh, how far you should cut, uh, cut the low end. I'm going to tell you the, you know, good rule of thumb. I used to start off around 120 hertz. You need to be paying attention to this shit right here. I start off at 120 hertz, and I move up. I just listen. I don't have time to go through that. Call them Trojan right, Magnus. Yes, right they call them Trojan Magnus. All right, and you just keep moving up. They call them Trojan Magnus. You hear how it sounds now? They call them Trojan Magnus. But you still want some of your low end, all right? And I could, you know, I could actually potentially push this up and, it, and his vo vocals not be affected. Call them Trojan but I don't want to cut too much out. So, like, if I'm, if I'm trying to be in the safe area, I stop it at 150 if I'm trying to be safe. But, you know, it just depends on your song. You have to mess with this. All right. When you do this, the next thing you want to do is remove frequencies. All right. Good place to start is around 200 to 240. So, let me show you what you do. All right. Get one of your frequencies around this area. Like, say, for instance, right here. All right. Push it up. Starting right here. And now, this is what I do. Uh... So down here, 
I, I make this a tear about, I don't know the technical term for it, but just watch the numbers, man, around 200. Really like 260, to be honest. But I pull it up because you, what you're trying to do is you're trying to find the boxy frequencies. That boxy sound is around 2 to 240, all right? And you can hear it. And just push it all the way up. Column tones and yeah, that shit sound like he in a fucking aquarium. You hear that? You don't want that. That's not what you want. But it's not only there. It's going to, you, you want to find it where it's it's most uh dominant. So. Column tones and magnets. They call them tones and magnets. Call them tones and magnets. See right here? I hear it. I mean, that's for me is the most dominant spot. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to cut this frequency at at least, I'm going to say uh, negative 2 dB, negative 2 or negative 3. Just depends, you know. So it was 250 when I heard it. So call them tones and magnets. Bypass the hit. All them tones and magnets. All right. But I also want to be safe that I'm not, you know, cutting out any good frequency. I might just. All them tones and magnets. I don't want to affect it too much. All right. So I do it around there. And then I remove also around. Now, like I said, I had a, you know, I had an engineer that I was studying up on a man. You know, he went to school for it. He told me not to cut out the frequencies around three to five. You know, and I was doing that. But hey, man, I'm going to tell you the truth. Fuck it. If you pull that thing all the way up and you hear something that doesn't sound nice, take the shit out, man. I don't give a fuck where it's at, you know. So uh, me personally, <laughs> I will go back and check out my frequencies, man. I, I was just scanned from uh from three to three, really, to seven and try to find any bad frequencies. If I find them, I'll take them hoes out. You know, I don't give a damn where is it. If it don't sound good, Column it's like, tones. see like that shit? It don't sound good. Column tones and magnets. Like everything else sound good. Column tones and magnets. You see that? That's that same box. Of Column tones and magnets. All right. So I need, see, I got two spots I need to take out around here. Column and then somewhere around the 500. So I'm, so I'm going to take out. Column tones. Take it out, man. It don't sound good. Fuck the root. So now, if anything, if I'm trying to preserve any frequencies around that area, I just won't do as much. I might do just one five. You know Column tones. Look at the big, you know, you hear the big difference in the voice. Column tones and magnets. Maybe you don't, but I'm telling you, trust me. All right. So going back up again, like I said, I, I heard something around the five. Column so. tones and magnets. You hear that shit? Column tones and magnets. And I don't really hear anything around the six to seven. Call them tones and magnets. They call them tones and magnets. Call them tones and magnets. Do you see how prominent it is? Call them tones and magnets. Yes, indeed. Gotta go. So 540. And I always pay attention to this, man. I know I'm kind of moving fast. I'm not you know, pulling out everything. But when I took it up here, I looked at this, and I knew that it was coming from that frequency range. So, I mean, that's what you're going about. I'm not just taking a shot. Column tones and magnets. Man, much, much clearer. All right. So, since I know that, it's what you need to do, man. Pull your mix up. You know this. All right. So, what I do is, I do that for every one. You see that? I do this for every vocal. You know, I need it. You know, I use the same preset. So, take this out. Take this out. Take this out. Take this shit out. Take the rest of this out. Take this more sensitive shit out. All right. So watch this, man. And if you don't know this, man, you gonna need a few quick trips. I didn't know this. I mean, quick tips. I didn't know this, man. I was trying to figure out for the longest how you just like simply copy something like this, man. Just hold down Command and Option. All right. Command and Option. Pull. Click and drag, man. So now I have that on all my uh, my vocals. All right. So like I said, I'm still just working with this this vocal right here because this one is gonna set the stage for all the other ones. All right. Um, next thing I do, you know, of course I'm a, I'm gonna put a put quite a. And he doesn't really need auto tune to be honest. You know what I'm saying? But I can show you how to work that as well. Um, it's already set to D. I don't really feel like taking you through how I found it, but here's what I did actually. I pulled up a um I pulled up an actual 
VST, not a VST, but an instrument on him, a piano maybe. And I found the key of it. And once I found the key and I knew what key it was, and then I just set that on, um, I set that on my auto tune, which was a B minor. All right. I can't go through showing you how to do that. You're just going to have to figure it out. You might just pull it up and just keep fucking with it and going down until you find which, which key is in. All right. So, but this is the auto tune I play. Call them Trojan to Magna. They call them Trojan to Magna. And with his call voice, them. since he actually knows how to sing, he doesn't need hard uh, call them auto tone. tone. Call them Trojan to Magna. Unless you just want the auto tune effect, you know. So I don't put it on hard, soft. I just put it on like pitch correct, you know, because his voice is already correct. All right. So that's. That's what's next on my vocal chain. Um, you don't have to pay attention to this. This is this is auto tune and this is Logic's version auto tune pitch correct. I'm gonna take that off. Um, other thing, the next thing I use is compressor. This is tube tech. I'm not necessarily saying that you have to use this. Uh, I mean there are other compressors you can use. I got a lot of Wave plugins. I just particularly just use this one. I don't know why I like it. I should know why, but I don't. I just use it, so fuck it. Let's go. I am not the best at compressors because I'm not technical with it. I can only leave you with my knowledge. I can't, I keep my ratio at a four to one. All right. All I know is this is a singing vocal, and it's slow. It's not fast rap, rap so it's not going to be a lot of transients. You learn all that damn vocabulary while you're doing this. But, uh, so since it's slow, I know that my attack needs to be, you know, a little, uh, my attack doesn't need to be as quick and my re release doesn't need to be as fast. All right. So I just kind of, man, look, <laughs> and to be honest, sometimes I I'll put it on fixed slash manual. All right. But I'm really just about to show you how to like really pan and balance and mix vocals. And that's the biggest thing. All right. But just to look at them. Tones and magnets. Wow.